As you can see on the inside of my truck, I made a few changes. I installed the Reflectix insulation all throughout the interior of the camper shell using the contact cement here that I bought from Lowe's. I bought about a gallon of this contact cement. I used about a third of it. I think you could have gotten away with a quart, maybe a couple of quarts to get it finished up. But I, I got the gallon left over, so it's all right. I also uh, blacked out the windows on the, this one and the hatch. I've got to use some limo tent. We're going to put uh, some sh uh, drapes here and on the front window and on this side slider window as well. I just got through washing out the interior. I had fiberglass dust on it because I drilled out and installed a 12 volt ceiling fan to exhaust some of the heat out during the summertime. So I've got all the electricity hooked back up from lifting the, uh, the truck cap up. I got that done and also installed some really cool hatch locks here. I wanted some locks that would lock up while I'm on the inside to keep my wife and I safe. So what I've done, I don't know if the light is gonna be good enough for this, but what I've done is used a zip tie and a hook and I can just hook it over the handle here on each side. I've got one on each side and it's a simple, cheap little lock that keeps, the, keeps somebody out, keeps somebody from coming in on us while we're asleep inside of here at night. Until next time, thank you for watching. Take care, YouTube.